Warning, all of our videos are made only for educational purposes and to demonstrate scientific laws that we verify. These experiments must be supervised and we are not responsible for an incorrect execution of an experiment done by others. We do not encourage in any way that you misuse our experiments to do violent things and harm others. Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemist by Destiny. Today we are going to see a new experiment in which we will see the side and we show you how it works choosing reagents. This Pfizer reagent actually is very useful to dissolve cellulose. In fact, some of you may know that our body cannot naturally dissolve cellulose. Instead, this reagent can. So, this experiment consists in many steps, but you will see that they aren't so difficult at all. At first, we're going to prepare this solution of copper sulfate. We're going to use 1 gram in 100 milliliters. Uh, then uh, we are gonna let it, we're going to let it dissolve uh, and we are preparing a solution uh, of the sodium hydroxide uh, which is uh, 0.3 grams uh, in uh, 3 milliliters of this solution. Uh, next uh, we are going to mix uh, the two solutions and stir until they uh, become homogeneous. Uh, later on uh, we are going to add uh, some uh, ammonia. We are using 5% ammonia and uh, precisely 120 milliliters. Um, Later on, uh, we are uh, going uh, to mix this solution until it settles down uh, and uh, we uh, can dissolve our cotton. Uh, after we have dissolved uh, uh, precisely a maximum 0.4 grams of cotton, uh, we are going uh, to uh, mix it until it dissolves uh, and uh, put it in a, a dissolved uh, acid. Uh, uh, after that, uh, we are just uh, going to extract uh, our uh, cellulose and show you that. Uh, the Schweizer reagent actually dissolves cotton. So guys, let's see from a chemical point of view what happens in this experiment. In fact, the first thing that we do is to uh, dissolve our copper sulfate in water. So next, uh, we add some uh, sodium hydroxide and by adding this sodium uh, hydroxide, a reaction occurs. In fact, what uh, the reaction that happens, you can see it here below. And so from this reaction, uh, copper hydroxide is produced. As you know, copper hydroxide is insoluble in water, so it forms uh, as a blue solid that uh, makes the solution take this blue color. After, what we uh, do is to let this precipitate out, and uh, once we do this, we just have to separate uh, this, uh, the, the part of the solution uh, from this precipitate. After, we uh, add to uh, this solution uh, some uh, ammonia, uh, that can be more or less concentrated and um, after adding this ammonia we can see that another reaction is occurring and uh, this reaction you can see here below so from this reaction a complex is formed and in particular this complex takes the name of uh, Schweizer reagent this Schweizer reagent is uh, able to dissolve uh, cotton and in fact what we are going to do is to add cotton in this solution and so we will see this cotton dissolving and once we do so, uh, we just have to uh, put this solution with cotton inside in an acid that could be nitric acid, uh, hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid. And what we see is that this solution takes a um, really uh, white color, uh, white color, 
in fact it becomes uh, an uncolored solution and this is due to the fact that um, the acid is able to destroy this complex and it's also able to react with the, the, copper, uh, the copper hydroxide in order to form a soluble salt and so uh, what we can see is that uh, cotton reform from this uh, reaction So guys, the experiment for today is over, but we want to tell you something about the precautions of this experiment. In fact, when you handle acid, you have to be really careful, in particular uh, to nitric and sulfuric acid, because this is uh, this one uh, the most dangerous. And finally, when you handle sodium hydroxide, in particular its solutions, you have to be uh, careful in the same way. So, if you like this video, leave them in the comments. If you want to see more basic experiments like this, go use the page and subscribe to it. So, today's all. Thanks for watching.